works because you can't really um like go off with this or whatever since there's only one of them you're just hoping to stall the game with your mystics your snares and your shivan reefs and your main will can your wing condition here is just going to be explosioning their face off which is probably going to require resolving multiple of these uh, should be okay versus mid-range decks, a little afraid of like the red burn decks, a little afraid of the heavy control decks, but when it comes to the heavy control decks, we at least have three negates, three research, and two uh, niv mizzets on the side. The broken bond's kind of a cool card. It might be a way to uh, reclamation, or kill, you know, like in a mirror match, kill a reclamation and get a land into play, or kill an Ixalan's binding. But I wouldn't hold my breath for that. I mm, think this hand's fine. It's not great, but we're on to draw. We're going to get a couple of draw steps. This is going to give us a draw step. We have a million lands. All things that I think we care about. It's going to be the third day in a row that I got a mirror? Nope, it is not. Alright, well I don't want to risk them being able to like thrilled mystic this or anything, so we're just going to go ahead and go and play this, into this, into this. Hey look at Ope, what's up man? <laughs> not a lot of clicking if you don't draw anything. Could be really annoying on Arena, I bet. Hey George, what's up? Uh, I guess I'll keep that. Ooh, well, that's a decent one. This is a George requested deck for today. <laughs> nice. I'm just going to kill people if red deck wins over and over. Yeah, MTGO is not a soft field right now. Hmm. I guess I'm going to play this and this this turn. Because I don't really care to take one hit. They're probably unlikely to kill the Mystic. I'm just going to block two. I don't really care if they're wasting the entire turn pumping this up and using a removal spell. Yeah, I'd obviously prefer they didn't, but I don't care. Pew. Wah, 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 wah. 
Trying to make him commit his mana to pump this up. I'm pretty much going to root snare regardless here. Uh-oh. Still have three cards in their hand. They have like some mystics or whatever, that could be scary. I guess we're going to leave two mana up this turn to attempt to draw a rootbound snag. Ate you. Should have enough blockers that we're not dead even if we miss. Which uh, we actually did miss here. But we're going to get some more blockers, so... Wow. Well, at least we have a Nexus, so we get a minimum of one more try at this. And we have a second Reclamation, so we potentially go hog wild, so to speak. Uh, it kills our Mystic, but doesn't uh, really affect the board. The board's what we care about. Um, no idea. This was just a random 5-0 list. He said something like it, so I just grabbed a deck basically at random. We have a lot of mana now. Um, whoops, I didn't leave myself green mana, just clicking away today. We'll make sure we leave green mana this time. And we get to win this turn. Uh, one, two, all right, so that's the four. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, well, we did the things. <laughs> Good at winning game ones and losing matches. These seem like reasonable blockers in this spot. These actually seem kind of reasonable here to me as well. I honestly don't know if I want to change anything from the main to the side, though. I feel pretty solid in this matchup. I guess I could have some number of counter spells, and that would be a problem. Like they're gonna sideboard in counter spells. So if they're gonna bring in counter spells, maybe I want counter spells. Maybe I should have brought in spell pierces instead, though, so that we can get the turn two play. Oh, we're lacking lands, but I still think we have to keep. It's a 25 land deck, and we have two ops and four of the common explorer, so. Oh, I guess we only have one opt. My bad. But we have everything else we need. Cool, they don't have to turn to friend. Go ahead and play this, because if they have like a Hadana's Climb, or Riven of the Wild, it could be a problem. That's a little annoying, but it's not that bad. Sure. Alright, it's time to draw land. No land. Red Rover, Red Rover, find me something to do with this negate. Hey gamer, what's up? That's nice. nice. They could have cast that last turn and they chose not to. But they casted the turn I discarded the negate. I guess they also have negate mana up now.
Eh, I'm getting crushed. It's not done very well on MTGO at all. Us. Feels like that's probably game. Eh, I play Arena some too. Not a bad card. Ooh. I call blocker. They can ultimate that Vivian, that's not good. The gate wins the game, nothing I can do about it. Not good. I'll shave one of these. Kind of want to shave this. I'm not going to. This is not technically shaving, it would be cutting. Uh, well, our mana is not ideal, but. Come on, mana. Don't do this. Not like this. Just want to play magic. I guess that's going to be one of these days. No Brontodon at least, please? That was horrendous for me. And they drew a Brontodon. I'm pretty sure I already lose. Guess I don't want to get counterspelled, so... And they might hit a land and play it. I need at least three of these. I have no way to remove this unless I draw a Mystic. This is looking bad. Looking very, very bad. 
Really needed them to not to draw the Brontodon. And he had a blue mana too. Interesting. Well. Maybe we'll get lucky and redraw this Nexus. Whoops. That's kind of weird. It cast my spell before I tapped the last one of these. So I think I took two damage too much. I'm not sure. That's interesting. Alright, so I can kill the Vivian Reed now and try to save one of my reclamations. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It takes 11 to kill that. I technically have a mana left open. Is that the best play I have here? Okay, eight. Um, I feel like I'll find another one of you. So we're probably going to Brontodon and kill one of these. And potentially have a negate for this. But we're going to find out. Another land. Really hope they tapped their mana, but it doesn't seem very likely. Oh, wow. I didn't expect that. I don't know about any of you. Could go for uh like maybe a kill next turn maybe but hmm not drawn a land yet have we
Kind of a weird pause. Are they going to counterspell now? Answer is no. Alright, we're gonna pass here with three fogs up. See if we get another turn, and maybe if the other turn we can find a negate or something. The three fogs are up in case they play like a hell of, I don't know. I probably don't need the third one ever, but like maybe they have like double gruel breaker plus a negate or whatever, and a land. It's unlikely to have those three cards. I'm just trying to spitball anything that could kill me. I don't want to take any damage. Sure. Okay. Um, James, this is the first one I played since it's been live. So how much mana do we have now? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22, 33 then. That's plenty enough to kill with a counterspell backup. I like them pretty good. I just don't know how fragile they are in the end. But this is the first one we played and the first one we played with sideboard, so... Pretty hard to determine how much I like it. Just not played it enough. If they have Disdainful Stroke, we probably lose here. Um, I guess I want to draw the cards too. No, don't want to draw the cards too, just in case. Wait, what's the number? Oh. See the number now. No disdainful stroke, please. Well, they just had nothing. If they had negate, we could re-negate. If they had, uh... I was supposed to leave red mana open. I didn't, but... If they, uh, had... Um... If they happened to have Disdainful Stroke, we could have Chemister's Insight to try to find our negate, but... Like, it was basically a 1 in 12 chance. But I was feeling a lot of pressure there. I just wanted to go for it. Autumn Wheel 
Lily plays this deck without the root snares in the main. She hit Mythic last night with a build. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see if I can find it. Media. This is the build she grounded Mythic with. She played Uncomfortable Chills instead and Gifts of Paradise and Searches for Ascanta. It's a lot more all-in on the combo. It's kind of a sweet build. Niv's pretty insane. I don't, I don't think playing Niv's something that you're sad to do. I think you're actively happy to get to play Niv. Um... Meant to cast a breeding pool, but I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Alright, gonna see if we can find one of our removal spells. We did not. We only have three, so it didn't seem very likely to find, but... This could be a problem. We can, we can only deal so much damage with this deck, so... If they gain too much life, we'll have serious issues. I'm not showing double black, so I'm just going to go ahead and slam the Mystic. We don't really have any spells to go with it anyway, so sandbagging it doesn't seem like it matters. Eh, severely punished. Didn't want to, I thought it was more likely if we played Reclamation that it was just going to die to a Vivian. Well, okay then. Looks like we have to get rather lucky here. Find us a fog? Not a fog. Alright, well we died. Really easily. Really, really easily. Could just take these out, I guess. They don't have much to kill. I don't think we can keep one land, especially not a blue land. Right, well, we don't want you. It's kind of weird that under three color deck to have this random come into play tap swamp. I feel like that's one of the first things you're going to want to cut.
Huh. I don't have anything I want to discard, so I'm just going to play this. That would have been useful last game. It's a good chance that he has a negate or something. Doesn't matter, still playing this. And we're potentially dead. <laughs> There's a lot of way to kill planeswalkers now. I'm not a big fan of Esper Control personally, but they got another dress. That's not good. Ooh, that's good, I guess. Now they need a way to kill this. Don't really care about that. We have no card we want. They had to shoot both games. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're getting crushed pretty hard. Yeah, the red decks are insane, for sure. And it just won the gate, and the game was basically over. That's not fun. Yes, we get another turn, but I don't know what the other turn is going to provide us. Firemines research that's not going to do anything here. We basically just got beat by old school black green with no changes because the blue cards didn't feel like they mattered. Oh, I thought this was a land war elf. <laughs> I left myself dead on board because I'm stupid. And if it counts, we looked at our hand and it wouldn't have mattered. Like we drew the next two cards. I really thought that was a land war elf though. Actively thought that was a land or elf. I'm just dumb. I was trying to hit a land. Because I thought that could only deal three damage. After looking at the next two cards, we know we were dead anyway, so it didn't matter, but it was a play mistake. I really thought it was a land or elf. I'm basically dead tired. I guess I just pass. And if they fall to race for me, I copy it. Uh, can't really beat any of these cards, so... I'll leave you on top. Can't go to bed, George. I have to stream. Uh, I have a Gala Shrine, but somebody might have called Dibs. I don't remember. Definitely don't have any old ones.
Well, now I regret not taking the Mortify. Don't know why I played that. No counterspell, please. I don't want to keep that one because we already know they have a Wrath of God. This game's looking very bad. We ran out of spells. I found 9 land and 16 cards, but that's just going to happen. If we struggle to beat that, we're just going to struggle to beat anything. So they have four unknowns still? That's a lot. Nice Smurf, congratulations. Uh, so how do we ever beat that Mortify? Us. Well, none of those are really what I wanted. I assume this one's what'll get counterspelled. Hard to imagine they don't have a counter spell at this point in the game. Yeah, maybe they don't. Or maybe they're just gonna Kaya's draft and don't care. Or settle the wreckage or something. Oops, wrong order. Yes, you're technically better to play. Hmm. 
Well, I need to attack that. Interesting. I'm just going to pass again. <laughs> it's a lot of things. Alright, well, let's start with this. It's not done particularly good in challenges online. Did well this last week, but before that it was mostly red-white decks dominating. There was like a two-week window where blue-black dominated, but... The problem with this is I don't want to discard any of these, so... Should have let that trigger resolve before I did what I just did. Okay. <laughs> Just in case he plays spells at the end of turn, I want my mana. Uh, kind of forgot about Nova. I don't think we can win pre-board regardless. We have no counter spells in our main deck. We're already down two explosions. And he's playing both Mortifies and Teferis and counter spells. Like, he literally just needs two counter spells to kill us. I guess technically three, but... So I'll save the time. That's a problem. Our card not having, or our deck not having Search Rascanta feels odd to me. We champions. Also, wouldn't expect the deck with Kai's Wraths to still be playing Cleansing Nova. I don't know why you'd want to play both.
I agree. I agree, Murph. We down one mystic or two. We were down two mystics already as well. They have a Mortify that we know about. I'd probably play Nova before I play Draft. I guess since we know they have a Mortify and they have a Search for Ascanta, we have to do this now and just waste everybody's time. Oh well. We knew this was going to happen at some point. Enjoy your counterspell. Have no other card in our hand that really matters, so. So we have one Mystic, one Explosion, and these three birds to win the game with. These two birds to win the game with. Uh, I think I should just concede and go to the next game. Yeah, I'm just going to concede and go to the next game. Actually, I'm not. Maybe they've only got two absorbs in their deck. Who knows? Maybe they don't actually have a way to win the game. Well, we now know they have a way to win the game. Sure. I don't think there's any reason not to cast this.
Doesn't really matter if they counterspell it. Oh, they have another absorb. Okay. Well, in a point now to where if we draw to Mystic, I think we can win. Because they tap so low. So we get at least one more turn here? Yeah, so that's two more turns. There's turn one. There's turn two. Oh, well, we didn't get there. <laughs> if we'd drawn like Mystic into Nexus, I think we would have actually got there. Or had a chance to get there. How good would a search rest can't have been like this entire game? One more Radical idea in our deck. And that's it for card draw. So two counter spells kill us and there's nothing we can do about it. I think we have another mystical unless I'm overlooking it. Could just be overlooking it. There it is. More radical idea in the deck. Maybe I should just wait a turn. I think I want to wait a turn.
Damn it. We just lost. Mm. Alright. That was a good draw. Or maybe they've had it this entire time. I don't know. As I'm casting this one. They cast the Absorb, or they still haven't cast the Absorb, so we're just dead. Alright, well, these do nothing. These seem ridiculous here. These seem ridiculous here. These seem pretty good here. Don't think I need any of these either. What's the last card we cut? I don't want to cut the Nexus of Fate because I think it does a lot here, so I'm just going to cut one opt. We got pretty crushed that game. Made a lot of time off the clock though, and I'm confident that I'll play faster. Really need to draw one of these early. Though, versus the Mortified deck, these aren't even that great. That's fine. All of our lands suck ass, but that's okay. Hit F6. Whoops. This sucks. Growth Spiral is the card I want them to take the least. Of course. We'll go ahead and play this because they could have some kind of counter spell. I should have played this Rootbound Crag. They know we have Rootbound Crag now. Well, we're just dead, I guess. All of our lands are trying to annoy me. I guess I could have left the three Sheevan Fires in, but I don't know what else I would have took out. And they have the third discard spell. Well, at least I was right about playing better. We're almost caught back up in clock. Or not better, but faster. Sorry, misspoke. Too bad we lose. It's 
the fairy. A weird one to bounce, but. And we didn't hit a land. Really? This is in your deck? This is, I guess it destroys artifacts. Alright, well, we're just dead. I legitimately have no out. If they have zero counter spells whatsoever, we can get lucky. If we ever get a land that comes into play untapped. But thus far, that's not a thing. Oh, look, we 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 gave them a lot of power. So we have to somehow untap and actually win the game. We draw Wilderness Reclamation, I guess. It's not impossible. It's improbable. Oh, they have an explosion too? Yeah, they're paying X. Alright, well. Gotta win the next two now. I'm not feeling this deck. It feels too vulnerable to anything that can kill a wilderness. Feels like it's a lot more fragile than just Bant Fog. Uh, this sounds fun. We didn't even win a game versus the last two matches. They're playing a Guild Gate. What? Are they playing Nexus Guildgate? Yes, they are. Huh. 
don't think I want that. They ramp so much quicker than us, so this could be a problem. They're going to get to draw two cards off this ramp spell as well, because they have their combo. Hey, JJ, what's up? We are in the process of getting Nexus. No, maybe not. They're passing turn. Okay, well, looking for lots of exciting magic action. Probably not getting too much excitement from the Wilderness Reclamation Sage Mirror. They have 16 lands already. Just like to point out, they can explosion and kill us as early as next turn. What do you do? Each player shuffles his hand and graveyard into the library, draw seven cards. Final fit. Who did we just win? We didn't win, did we? No, we didn't win. We only have five, ten, eleven, so let's start with you. Uh... 
if we draw an Nexus off this card, we can cast it. That's not a Nexus. I guess there's no reason to play it now. Actually, they are. But we didn't really draw anything during all of that. Hopefully we're not dead. Probably not dead. But we still could be. I think that's kind of neat. That you can cast this, tap all your gates, then get to untap everything with Reclamation. Uh-oh. Gonna cast something this time. Four. No, oh, we're just dead then. I don't think there's anything we're gonna be able to do. They'll just go infinite from here. But unfortunately, because of what their deck is, and the kill conditions are so inadequate, we have to keep pressing F6. But the fact that they're not drawing extra cards when they could, uh, has to just mean we're dead. Like they had to revitalize and they didn't bother to use it. If we get to untap, we can win exceedingly easy, but I don't think we can get to untap. Since we don't win exceedingly easy, they could have just to revitalize and we don't win. Because we would get, we'd have to spend four mana for this, so we'd be floating three, and then seven times three, so we'd have 24 mana total. I guess we can't win at all next turn. Wow. Let's say cast and another imminent powers or something and we hit a growth chamber. Now they're going to clean up. Still not sure what that does for us. They literally discarded a nexus to hand size, by the way. They didn't even want to bother to cast it. 
So how how are we alive this game? We can't be, right? A Truland, maybe? I'm pretty bad at pronouncing things. I apologize if that's wrong. I guess this one. Doesn't feel like it matters what we cast. It feels like we don't get another turn. Whoops, I forgot to float mana. I'm not casting anything else, but I like floating the mana just in case I need to respond with one of these to some f random thing they play. Can't think of what that would be, but... Oops. Should be able to draw two more cards if I hadn't played bad, but I'm trying to get lucky and hit our Nexus. Didn't hit our Nexus. Feel like standard might become what? Uh, I don't know. The reclamation decks all feel a little flimsy so far. Like, you can just run over them with anything that you basically splash blue in. Or, uh, or like, red deck wins runs over them. There might be some combination of cards out there. Like, I feel like Bant's better than what I'm playing. But, like, what they're playing might be better than what... I'm playing or what Bant's playing. I don't know. feel like I could run over both these decks with just red deck wins or like any random green deck that's got blue counter spells. I have to be dead though. They literally were discarding Nexus of Fates to hand size last turn instead of casting them. That's a cool combo. We can try to win this turn if they don't win. Uh, seven mana, so that's the Nexus. Feel like they just messed up last turn and didn't mean to go to discard. Because presumably they can take every turn right now. We just need to see what the kill condition is.
I mean, there are 13 cards left in their library, so... Like, there's no way they can't draw their deck. I'd concede if I knew what their kill was. But I want the information for sideboarding. Uh, feels like it does a lot of nothing to me, Bald Bull. Not loving it so far. I think it's like really good versus mid-range decks, but it seems like it's really bad versus control decks or aggro decks. Though the Mystics do beat some of the aggro decks, just not all of them. It'll beat things like Rakdos, maybe, but I don't think it'll beat White Weenie, and I don't think it'll beat Burn. I don't know. Still don't know how my opponent's killing us. Um, they have Guild Summit. It says, when Guild Summit enters the battlefield, you may tap any number of untapped gates you control. Draw a card for each uh, gate tapped this way. And then whenever a gate enters the battlefield, you get to draw a card, and that second ability is from anywhere. So, like, if you tutor up some gates with the Sirtuitous Route or whatever, then you still get it. Okay, so that's their kill. I mean, I've not tried the Bant versions versus uh, on Moto, I guess, but on Arena, like, it's almost a buy for Red Deck Wins, it feels. Red Deck Wins is what I've been grinding with. So if they get one more turn, we're just dead. Maybe they'll draw too many cards and we'll be able to kill them with the explosion. Who knows? Uh, yeah, there is one Nexus in this deck. They didn't attack me. Uh, I've not tried versus just a Simic version. No. This is the first version I played. I've not had internet since like Monday. Not sure what those are going to do here. Literally just has to attack me twice. But they're not attacking. Which is weird. Yeah, it sucked. So we're going to cast another Nexus? Sure. Best two turns, if they attack, I'm actually dead. But as previously stated, they didn't attack last turn. They've discarded some Nexuses to hand size and they had seven mana untapped. Not really sure. This is another... Doesn't that make it harder for them to combo me?
Okay. I guess I'm going to concede now. The one thing we had is an ounce gone. Bring in all of these. Take out those for sure. And this looks pretty cool. Don't deny that Mystic isn't cool. Oh, I didn't mean to drag that. Is six one of the things that says you're always going to beat the mid range decks? Sounds pretty good. I think this card's kind of cool. Couldn't wait, made our opponent waste another minute. Tried to win by the clock, but I don't want to win that way. We have no card draw spells right now. We have no ramp. This hand's not wonderful, but it's certainly too strong to mulligan when we have both a negate, a broken bond, and a fire mines research. We just don't concede to our opponent, though they'll probably time out. Yeah, Thrill Mystic could be a really cool cyborg card for this deck. Cool ramp spells that actually have abilities in these matches. <laughs> I'm dead tired. Our opponents wasted like two minutes or whatever just trying to decide if they're going to keep their hand. They might be having some kind of internet issue. Hey, here they are. Here they are, Miss America. Oh, I think that's the song. Don't really know. Whoops. It's two counters to draw a card, right? Yeah. Could have destroyed our Fire Mines research so we could get a land. <laughs> In the real zone. I 
No, I saw it. I kind of want to kill that, but I don't know if I should bother. I guess I'm going to bother. I don't know if I should have or not, but... Seems like I probably shouldn't have. That wins the game real fast. I don't know if I'm being bad. I'm losing a lot. I need to draw the card desperately. Rip, that doesn't help. That might help. Nice man, Matthew. We're done next turn. I sideboarded out all the fogs and stuff. I don't know how I can actually win. I'm pretty sure I can't. Do they have a counter spell? We're just dead. Well, that doesn't help either. So, now what? That doesn't help either. Well. Guess we're now playing you to block with to try to get an additional turn. They have gates ablaze, we lose. Maybe if they have nothing and we draw wilderness, we can do something. They just play land and nexus, we're dead as well. They tapped the two blue first, so that pretty much means it's Nexus. Well, we got crushed pretty hard today. The matches we lost, none of them were remotely close. Yeah, I was just not feeling this deck. Uh, the gates are fine. The deck just felt kind of weak. I feel like it could be fixed. Like, Search for Ascantas would have gone a long way. These Sheevan Fires felt kind of worthless. Our sideboard as a whole didn't feel particularly useful in any match. Uh, don't really know what to say. 
I do, however, know that I'm going to log offline and go to bed. So that's cool. Good night, everybody, and thank you for coming by.